why the officer used that deadly force. Here's Shannon. You know, I had the opportunity, Charles, to go through a force on force scenario to see how I would re react under the stress of deciding on when or when not to use deadly force. It was all part of the Citizens Police Academy training. Police officers are put in dangerous situations every day on the job. The hardest and most scrutinized aspect of the job, when and when not to use deadly force. Decision making and firearms training is key. That's completely wrong. I, along with 15 other citizens, were allowed the opportunity to see what we would do if confronted with the same split second decision. And just the locker key hanging on there? Yes. Before entering the firing range, each person went through an extensive search. Our first test, a video simulation. The scenario, an armed suspect holding a clerk hostage. After a few commands with no response, I drew my weapon. He's a greater danger to her, and he's a greater danger to me. So I need to take those shots. Then we suited up in protective gear to do a live round scenario. We were responding to a woman unstable with a knife, and as you can see, the situation quickly changed. Everything's happening around you. You don't know what's a threat and what to, uh, how to contain that. You, I mean, it was impossible to, you know, keep watching everyone in the background uh, while you were trying to focus on this one woman. The use of deadly force on unarmed and armed black men has been the topic of national discussion. Here at home, an officer shot and killed Seville Smith. A man authorities say had a gun and ran during a traffic stop. The incident sparked two nights of violence in the Sherman Park neighborhood. Back at the Milwaukee Police Training Academy, after being debriefed, it was clear these exercises are necessary. You communicated well with them, but you weren't communicating with, with each other, which means you had too much separation. So much separation, you could not have effectively defend one another. The exercise also gave many watching a new respect for the job police are tasked to do. Now that exercise was just one of many we participated in while attending the Milwaukee Police Academy. The next six week course will take place in January and it's easy to apply if you want to. We have a link inside this story on our website at TMJ4.com. All right, Shannon, thank you. Community order.